I use, I just look at it. And when you have cards like these on here, I automatically go to waterfall flip card thing, which I like to do. And I had another one I wanted to do for this one, which was going to be like um, moon phases. And I was going to do a flip thing so it shows like the different moon phases, which I could probably do that one too. So that's not bad. I do not like to fussy cut. So if it's something square, like and straight, this is my shortcut. I cut all these little things um, just like this because I ain't cutting all this out. We'd be here till 10 o'clock watching me cut out stuff. Nobody wants to watch that. I will say after I get the Cosmos books done, the next one up, okay, hang on. I got the suitcase one, Sleeping Beauty, the House of Roses, and what is that other one? Oh, and I have a rose perfume one that I'm doing for my YouTube channel. And I've had requests on that one on YouTube to actually do the pages in it. As if it, the book is mine. So, that should be interesting. Because I like that one a lot. And I don't, I didn't want to, like, give it away anyway. So, I'm excited about that. Starting that. Or at least finishing it. So, if you ever want to see how the books are put together, you can go to my YouTube channel. And I have Making a Journal Book series on there. And I broke it down into videos so you can see how to make the book. This is my version of how I make the book. Um, my daughter actually taught me how to make a book and she was the one who taught me how to make signatures and what a signature even was. And then I kind of like evolved from there and I started making my own books. And then I kind of experimented and I found the best way that I like to make them. And that's kind of how that started. So yes, I, I have I have no idea what you call my method because it's just my own. I didn't follow any kind of YouTube channels. My daughter just gave me the basics and then I kind of went from there. But I also knew how to sew too. I can, I've, I've dabbled in lots of other crafts. You know, I know how to draw, I know how to paint, I know how to embroider stuff, um, decoupage, scrapbooking, sewing, uh, resin. I've done everything. <gasps> Yay! How did that go? How did your first book go? They usually say the smaller the book, the easier it is. When you try to do too big right off the bat, it's harder. I mean, people can do it. It's just a little bit harder. <gasps> is that my bougie? Where are you? Mommy, look at how on me. What do you have on you? She rubbed up against the treadmill. <gasps> what did you do? Treadmill. You're not supposed to be by the treadmill. You have stuff all over you. I have black on me. You do have it on you. Oh no, you're gonna have to go get a bath. No, don't touch mommy's stuff with your nasty hands. Stop that. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Go get you a bath. Ugh. Oh, good. Did it work out okay? See, if this is me, I'd blast it. Well, I can't blast it because Daddy already came in here and made fun of my music. Because he doesn't, he doesn't like any of my music. Yet his favorite song is that dumb song by that guy. That <laughs> dumb song by that guy? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. He doesn't really listen to music. I don't. I don't know. Don't touch my makeup. Hey, 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 hey. Stop 
antagonizing her. Okay. Tell Daddy to make sure you put some on my wrap. Oh, good. Because, well, I'm kind of used to teaching because I teach my children. So, <laughs> I try not. I, I, that's more of something that I can do, I guess, is the uh, book teaching stuff. Let me see what I got here. All right. I'm going to make a waterfall card, but I don't want to use, like, a good paper. Let me use this. Okay, so... I do this really weird, okay? I don't measure stuff. This is my measurement. And and I have people ask me measurements all the time. I don't like to measure stuff. I like to do quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a waterfall card using these. And I have to think about this for a minute because I'll forget how to do it. Um, I probably won't use multiple wolves. But I'll probably, let me see, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's nine. Okay. And we'll do five. Okay, so when I make the backing thing that makes the thing, the cards flip, whatever card I'm using, that's the measurement that I'll use for the backing. So that's a good reference. I have no idea what that is. Creative. Fabrica? Is that how you say it? Fab fabric? No, I don't know what creative fabric it even is. I may have it, I just don't know. Uh, I didn't realize it. Okay, so there's like two and a half. Two, there we go. I know what that is. I saw an ad for that on Facebook. It's like a selling website, right? But, yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, but I have heard that you could sell on multiple sites. You don't have to just sell on them or Etsy. Uh, you could sell on Etsy and them. I think that's what I saw on the little ad thing. I thought about looking into that. I wanted to. I wanted to know more about that. Okay, so what I usually do is I will get a scoring board. This is also a necessity tool that I highly recommend people to get. Even if you're just starting out, because this is something that I use all the time. So these cards are going to be going like this on here, and they're going to be tiered. All right. And the other thing I have to do before I forget is we got to have a pull tab that's going to make this come this way. Um. Oh, okay. It's free graphics. Okay. I think my husband knows about that oh that's good I'll have to check that out I'll remember that so I'm going to make a little pull tab thing that is going to pull this this way which is going to make the cards flip okay so trust the process because it works what do you guys want now I think I'm going to make it, I'm going to make this probably maybe about two inches. This kind of stuff I'll measure afterwards, but I don't use specific measurements for any of these particular things. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is you're going to take it like this and let me, um, I'm going to score this probably a half of an inch on each for each oh, oh let me turn this over because I want the uh, wood side to be like the front so a half an inch on each one and let me see how many cards so I have one for that let's see I have 
four or five cards. No, that's not that one. One, two, three. Yeah. So we'll probably do five cards on this. So I'll score it five times. So, and here we go. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. That looks good. Well, we might be able to do a couple. Let me do another one. So there's five here. There we go. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it here. Let me do this. Move this out of the way. So I usually always make the little foldy parts like a half an inch um, because most of the card, even if I use uh, not as wide cards, I still will make it. A half an inch seems to be the good spot to do that. And just make sure that when you're folding it, that you keep it even with the like sides here. See, like it, if you don't, it will be off a little bit because scoring boards are great, but they're not perfect. So, what it's going to do is see it's going to be doing like that, and you can already see the little bending effect that it's doing. I've never made one of these waterfall cards on live before, and I always end up having some sort of little hiccup when I'm doing it. So let's, let's hope that doesn't happen, because this will be a good video if it works completely right. Ella, she can stay in there a little bit longer. Okay, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six folds here. Um, if this is, don't worry about this because this will be trimmed. Okay? Don't you do not to my baby. Hey, what's the problem? She don't want a towel. She don't want a towel. What a little weirdo. Yeah, you're gonna freeze. Okay. You're you're silly. Uh huh. I see that. Okay, I'm just gonna distress these because you want to do this obviously ahead of time if you're used to stress inks. Alright, we'll use one of the wolves. Oh, I like that one. That one will probably be the top one. Because it kind of, it halfway says astronomy on it. I like that. So that's going to be the top. Yeah, you can post the link. Go ahead. Not a problem. Oh, this one's nice, too. Actually, I'm going to save this one for when I do one of the moon phase things. Because that one will be a good, like, a little book. And I use one of these wolves. I'll put this one to the side. <gasps> oh, I love you. Yes, I do. Did you put cheese on it and lettuce and all that other good stuff? Put it on the side. Oh, thank you. You're fuzzy peach. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. How many did I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There we go. So, Ruby got into the treadmill. Yeah. Yucky. I hope they got it off of her. 
that whatever that stuff is. The uh, grease? Is it grease? How in the world did she even do that? Was the treadmill down? I don't know what she did. I would came up here. Oh. So, <laughs> so the time you stepped out of the room for that few minutes, she like went yep. ballistic. Well, of course, I was, wasn't watching. Oh. She was sitting with me, and when I came up here, she just went nuts. Oh. That's not good. I had to take a bite. The, uh, all this, yeah. This one finished today. These are mine. I have to test it out. Stop. I got one over here too. The official product tester. I am the official product tester. But yeah. I got a bunch over here actually. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I gotta also forget about this one. Take the little puller, and this is also gonna be. Oh, darn right, I did it again. Let me flip it over. Half an inch. Okay. So this is going to be glued like this up here. It looks strange, but this is what works. And if you make it the same scoring, then it's less hassle. So that way you don't have to try to figure it out. Let me just hold this in here. Oh, thank you. These will probably be done either tomorrow evening or Wednesday. We're putting them in little by little in the Etsy store. So that way people don't have to wait until Friday. Ooh, we're almost at 30,000 likes. That's awesome. I'm just waiting for this to dry a little bit because I don't want to yank and pull on it. Okay, so this is going to go like this. And this is what causes the cards to do their little flip thing. Get. So, I'm going to start here. You can put like an actual card like right here that underneath that doesn't actually like move or anything. Um, like you could do this right here. And that will be just like the little background, but I'll eh, just leave it. Oh, I have another card here. I'll come to do this one. Hey. The girls were making fun of me the other day because I was dancing to this song downstairs while I was playing Switch Sports. And they were like, you need to do that on TikTok Live because it would be hilarious. And I was like, even if somebody said anything, I wouldn't be looking at my phone, so I wouldn't even know. I could care less what anybody would say anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this one right here. This is gonna be the one that ain't going nowhere. So this will be at the end. Okay. And then what I usually do is, this one's folded right here, so the next card, i put right across here. Mm -hmm. 
and they'll be evenly spaced since we did them all half an inch and then you just move the little card up to the next half inch right there you shut the bedroom door And that's all you do you just keep on moving keep on moving keep on moving I usually use my crafters pick glue but it's buried somewhere over here and I can't find it crafters pick is really good white glue that dries really quick but it's like made for everything fabric you don't have to use beacons and fabric tack and all that other stuff you can just use that but I use both And actually, I don't think you were, Beth, I don't think you were on live with us earlier. Um, I got two attachments that I'm making my husband work on. One of them I demonstrated already on here, and it works pretty good. So it's actually going to be a five-in-one tool here, and the attachments are going to be sold separately for people Um when it's available. Uh, this one is Beacons 3-in-1. The, uh, let me show you the bottle because I have them in these icing bottles. This one, I get this from Hobby Lobby. If you have a Hobby Lobby, get it from there. That's why. This is expensive on Amazon. Okay, it's $5.49 at Hobby Lobby, and sometimes it's on sale, but it works on everything. Glass, it dries clear. I use this in all my bookmaking stuff, like when I'm gluing the, the spine stuff and everything, this is what I use. And I like it. It's not expensive, which is what I like. Every, a lot of people will use that PVA glue for bookmaking and stuff. I used that and it was junk. I hated it. It even my daughter was like, I don't like this glue. It's not good for bookmaking. Not at least the type that we do. And so I never bought it again. I made her use it. Yeah, this is like that big that other one is like $15. So if you have a Hobby Lobby, get it from there. Because it is a lot cheaper. <laughs> Alright, last one. I'm gonna put the astronomy one here at the top. I make my husband, my husband goes out on Tuesdays and he goes bowling uh, with our uh, w our middle child, Ella. Ella's really good at bowling and she wanted to start bowling and stuff. And so they go out at lunchtime because they have like dollar games at the bowling alley. And they go and they practice and she's getting really good at it. So anytime he goes out, I'm like, go do this. Go check my P.O. box. Go do this. So he's never home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Hobby Lobby always has good stuff. Okay, let me let this dry for just a second. I'm going to take a bite of my wrap here that my husband made because it looks fantastic. And I must try it. Oh my god, it's so good. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. We're starting to get... That's the way the... That's all the waterfall card is. I know, I told you it's expensive on there. Why I would never buy beacons. I can't find the big bottles like this. Um, I can only find the tiny bottles that look like that at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So now the beacons, 
I buy this off of Amazon because I bought three of them for $19.99. And that's a good deal for three of these. And so that's why I get those on Amazon. Because they're like $14.99 or something like that. A piece. Anywhere I've seen in store. Okay. So the tricky part of this. So this is going to be the pull tab. I make the I keep these long on purpose because the way the pull tab works is I'm going to make um, a little slit to go in here so that way when it will come through here and it will be pulled down and then it will do this this is probably the best one I made I am so freaking happy right now because when I do this by myself and I'm making a video I'm like I hate it it's not working so yeah you see how good that works so I'm so glad that I did decide to do this on live I was so scared too because I thought it was gonna not work let me move these papers so I don't cut them up all right so I take an exacto knife Just make sure your tabs out here and what I'm gonna do let me find one of my little Um, the bottom paper, of course, doesn't move. Okay, so this is at the very bottom. So, I usually will take my ruler like this. Uh, let me get on an even number here. And I'm just going to, this is a two inch flap here. So, we want to make it just a little over two inches. So, that way, I'm sorry if my big head is in the way. Uh... So here, let's see, we got, is this about, no, this isn't about four inches. Let's see, it's about, it's like a little over three and a half. Okay, I'm going to round up here. I'm going to get pencil, that way I don't mess it up. Actually, I'm going to do it in centimeters. Sometimes working in the metric system is a lot easier. Okay, and then all I do is I make the first little slit here and then I'm just going to move, turn this around, and I'm going to put my ruler right next, almost next to it. Probably just big enough to where it can go through. I usually make it just a hair bigger. And then just do that. And there you go. So now... I'm going to take this bad boy. Hopefully I made it. Yep. Oh my gosh, I made it just right. So this is going to go through here. And this will make it more stable. Um, so this won't move all over the place. Because you don't want it to actually move. Okay. So now this is where the fun stuff happened. So now we can cut the rest of this stuff off. But don't cut it, your little tab thing off. I usually do it maybe like an inch below that, maybe a little less, because this does have to go in a book. So let me take that back out. Maybe right about there is good. Sorry, I'm not looking at you guys. Um, I actually don't have that good of patience. I get frustrated and frazzled really easy. Especially when I'm homeschooling. Sometimes I just look at my kids like, I can't even believe you just said that. But I've made a bunch 
of these waterfall cards and I've, I don't think I've ever made them the same way twice because every time I use a card, see this card came out of the paper pack so that's what size I'm making that, the waterfall thing. So, and it's not hard to do, which is whatever, I you, let the card guide you for what size you need. And this pull tab doesn't have to be any specific size. You can, It just has to be long enough. That's all that matters. Just make it long enough and you'll be fine. Let me see what, how much we got to trim. So that way you have enough to work with to pull on that. And it's like exactly, oh my gosh. This couldn't have gotten in, this, happened, this went perfect. Let me just put it that way. It went perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's what we like. I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the excess here because we want to attach Oh, you know what I have? I have these little, uh, I've got these, let me see, I got these little button things here a while ago, in December or something like that, because I knew I was going to be doing a Cosmos book, and so I can, oh, I can add like a little earth or something on it, so that can be like the little gripper thing, or moon, I'll do that one, that really doesn't look like anything. This one looks more like, oh, that actually matches a lot better. So, I'll put that on there as kind of like a little gripper to kind of grab a hold of it. So, oh. Sorry, I was hearing weird noises. You, I hate sitting in this spot because, um, like, I used to sit over on my other desk that's that way and something could catch my eye and I would hear like somebody come in or something like that. When I sit here sometimes I look in the reflection right here and there's somebody standing behind me it freaks me out and I don't like it because I don't I don't have enough time to hear them come around or bed and stuff to come over to the other side and yeah it freaks me out. <laughs> so I get paranoid and I'll start jumping and stuff and thinking somebody's behind me. Um, I don't know where I actually learned this. I know how to do a lot of origami and stuff like that since I was a kid. And I got into card making about 15 or 20-ish years ago now. And I used to do kind of stuff like this with cards and birthday cards. And now I kind of incorporate it all into the journals because... I like a bunch of different um, kinds of craft things, and I'm gonna let me find my other glue. And um, there it is. So I like to incorporate mixed media stuff that most people probably wouldn't in um, journals. I gotta get a, I'm gonna get a needle here. This is amazing. This is one of my things that I got in my insomniatic stupor from AliExpress. Look at this. Tell me that's not amazing. Because I love it. It's a push pin thing. And it's a lipstick. And I love it. I think that's one of the most brilliant things I have bought on AliExpress during insomnia attack. <laughs> I know, I do too. Uh, that's why I think that we shouldn't like segregate one craft to one area. If you want to put a painting in a journal, then do it. You know, just because you're a painter or um, pottery or whatever, embroidery. I, I don't like the, the uh, you know, you have to stick with your own 
craft, you can't put that in there. Because I get a lot of crap about not making junk journals, but I don't really call mine junk journals. I just call them journals. Mine are called mixed media journals or smash books. I don't know. Because I do a little bit of everything in it. Because I like to think outside the box. Ooh, that looks good like that. Okay, I gotta let this dry because it will slide off. But see the little planet? I don't know if you guys can see that really well. There we go. See, it looks just like a little planet. And I sew. I do. I sew also. I've made my daughter's clothes. All right. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you guys are. Because I'm very proud of this right now. All right. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect. And this is the other thing you'll have to worry about. Is you don't want this part to hit this part. So that's why I make it longer so it will do that. So then, and it has a moon on there, just notice that. So when I attach it, which I will do here in just a second, into the book, okay, you don't glue this whole thing down because you don't want to do that. You only glue it like right down here because when you pull it, as you can see, the glue cannot hit this or this part will run into the glue area. You don't want that. So you want it to be glued like right here and that is it. So that way it has room to move. So the book, okay this one is going in this book. The other, ah, I got stuff falling on me. The other book it's only going to have like a few inserts, like just cards and stuff, and it tags. It's not going to have these kind of detailed inserts. It's going to have simple. So this one, I think, I don't want to stick it on a page. I'll probably stick it in the back here because I need kind of room for it to move. And... It is like the perfect, I didn't even check the length. I was just eyeballing it. But I'm glad I stopped with that. So, because then it would have been too many and it would have been too long. So this is actually perfect. So I think I'm gonna either put it there. I can put it on this page right here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I leave this open for like a tuck spot? balloons yeah I like balloons. oh yeah balloon oh no are you talking about blowing up balloons because balloons and me don't get along I'm scared to death of balloons scared to death every time my kids have a birthday party or something I about lose it all the time I can't take it I hate balloons I don't know why yeah okay so I'll put it on this back page then let me make sure. I need to also check. Nope, I did. Okay. I hate them. I, did, I don't know why I'm so scared to death of balloons. But, yeah. So, I'm just going to do, like, maybe, like, right to there. I swear, that thing back there is making the weirdest noise. And that's the only part that you actually glue because the card's got to move behind here. So we just want to glue only that. Oh, here, let me move this up. There we go. And I'm going to wipe this away. I'm just pushing all the glue out so that way it won't get caught on nothing. Okay, let me check the top. Oh, all right, we're good. We're good. All right, let me let this glue for or dry. Let me let it glue. Let me let it dry for a second. 
so that looks pretty good. I always pressure test my books. So, I, it looks like I'm getting all rough with them. That's because I am. I like to make sure that they're going to last and people are going to be happy with them. Like, I am happy with that. 